What is the biggest fear any immigrant is worried about? Yes, getting deported. Let's talk about five reasons an immigrant may be deported. And welcome back to Immigration Channel. This is where we explain complex immigration matters in short, simple videos. We make immigration easy. And in this video, I'll talk about five reasons why an immigrant may get deported and how to avoid those reasons. And these are all updated reasons that will be helpful when you're watching this video. Before we do that, if you're here for the first time, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, click the notification bell so you don't miss any of our videos, and also give us a big like so YouTube will be able to show this video to more people just like you. As always, if you need help with your immigration matter, all you have to do is send me a text, 619-483-4549. And also, if you don't want to send a text, you can use a special contact form we created. It's called Immigration asap.com www.immigrationasap.com put your information there one of our team members will contact you to ASAP now let's dive into the video now there are several reasons why immigration would want to deport an immigrant and by deporting them the idea is to send them back to their country of origin because they've done something that violated the rules of immigration in the United States. Again, one of the most obvious reasons is that the immigrant didn't have the right to be in the United States in the first place. But that's not the only reason why people get deported. Maybe you crossed the border illegally. Maybe you overstayed your visa. Again, these are some of the common reasons, but I'm gonna go over a few reasons that are super important for you to understand and if you don't understand those reasons, you may be able to avoid deportation in the future. The number one reason why somebody may be deported is failure to obey the terms of your visa or maintain your legal status in the United States. So for example, if you're in the United States on a non-immigrant visa, like an F1 visa, J visa, or work visa, and let's say you're a student, and even if your visa is still good, but you're working illegally, unauthorized, that's a violation of your visa, and if you get apprehended by an immigration official, that could be a reason for removal, for example. So that's failure to obey the terms of your visa. You're not supposed to work, for example. Or if you came on a visitor visa and you overstayed, that's another reason if you get apprehended, you could be deported. It's obvious if somebody enters here unlawfully and they live in the United States, they could be deported. But I'm talking about people that entered legally. You came with a tourist visa, you came with a student visa, but then you failed to maintain your status. You didn't do what you're supposed to do you failed your classes, you worked unlawfully. Those could be reasons why you may be deported. Failure to notify USCIS of a change of address. Now, most people are not even aware of this. You know that if you are in the United States on a visa, whether it's a student visa or you're going through the green card process or any other temporary visa, if you move addresses, you have to notify USCIS within 10 days. Now, I know it sounds harsh, and maybe not realistic, but they are following these regulations in some cases. So if you go to an interview, they realize you moved several times and you haven't updated your address, it could be a reason for visa violation and potential deportation. It is something that most people are not aware of, but you should be. Again, failure to update your address with USCIS is a valid ground for deportation. Number three, if you commit a crime, a number mm. of crimes, of course, not all of them, but some crimes can result in deportation at the end of the day. For example, these crimes can lead to deportation of a visa holder, but also if you have a green card. Remember, if you have a green card, you're not 100% safe. You have to apply for citizenship to be protected from most of these violations, even crimes. But for example, if you're a green card holder and you're involved in drug smuggling or alien smuggling or document fraud or domestic violence, also crimes of moral turpitude, drug, controlled substance, firearm offenses, money laundering, fraud, espionage, terrorism, and of course, classic crimes, rape, murder, all these could get you deported at the end of the day. Now remember, even if you go to through the state system and one crime is not classified as a felony or crime moral turpitude, the immigration system has its own interpretation of certain crimes, depending where it's committed, how it was committed. So it's really important to work both with a criminal attorney in your state, but also with a knowledgeable immigration attorney to understand the magnitude of the crime before you plead to any deal, because these could have devastating implications on your immigration future. So remember, crimes could get you deported, certain crimes. Number four, violation of US laws. So for example, if you participate in a marriage fraud, 
or some kind of a scheme to defraud the tax authorities. These kind of schemes could be considered violations, fraud against the government, and these could also lead to deportation. A lot of these involved smuggling, uh, people involved in the smuggling rings, um, and they bring immigrants to the United States, and then uh, some of these immigrants go through different schemes to get labor work, which is fake, or marriages. All these are considered to be fraud violations and could lead to deportations of people involved. And finally, number five, relying on public assistance within the first five years of entering the United States, also known as public charge. Remember, when you receive the green card, you have to prove that you're not going to be a public charge. You're not going to be a burden on the government. So you haven't taken certain benefits while going through the green card process, benefits that are not allowed for you to take. Some benefits you can take and some you're not allowed to take. If you take those benefits that you're not supposed to, those could be considered a violation and could potentially lead to deportation. <clears throat> and so if the government finds you that you've taken certain benefits and you're not able to repay those financial resources you've taken by fraud or by mistake, then if you're not able to do so, you'll be placed in removal proceedings. So these are the five main areas why we've seen people get deported over the years. There may be others, but these are the five most common ones we've seen why immigrants get into trouble and eventually get deported. Now, once again, if you follow these rules and stay away from trouble, you'll be fine and get your green card, eventually become your citizen, and you'll never and have to worry fine. about deportation again. In the meantime, if you need help with your immigration matters, all you have to do is send me a text, 619-483-4549, or use our contact form at www.immigrationasap.com and put your information there. One of our team members will contact you ASAP. Thanks for watching. Leave your comments below and I'll see you at our next video.